Well, it looks like this ratty thing called Mercury Retrograde is about ready to come to an end. And thank God for that. It has been retrograde for way too long. It started out in the sign of Pisces and now it's backed into Aquarius. So I thought um, it doesn't go direct until Friday. So we have the first five days of this week to finish up things that we have begun during this retrograde. So for Pisces in particular, this retrograde has been in their 12th house of their own undoing. And it is sort of, they can't figure out how it is that they keep shooting themselves in the foot. Well, that answer becomes very evident as this week goes on. Um, and then by Friday, they'll be able to start to reverse things. For Aries, it's been in their 11th house of hopes, wishes, goals, and objectives. And they've been thwarted in just about every area. Um, and they're going to really have to count on the help of their well-placed male friends to help them get by this. For Tauruses, it's been in their 10th house of career and public standing, and it has been one step forward and two steps backwards for every single career move they make. And that, too, comes to an end at last on Friday, and then they'll know really kind of what their future is. Uh, for Geminis, it's in the ninth house of the law. And legal matters, educational matters, important matters at a distance have been going well for the Gemini, but I wouldn't take it to the bank until Friday when I knew for sure that those rulings were going to stand. For Cancers, it's been in their eighth house of other people's money, and they have been having a terrible time trying to figure out what their role in other people's resources are, and more importantly, how to maximize their resources. And, and they've also been, in a sense, nickeled and dimed to death with unanticipated expenses concerning other people's resources. For Leos, it's in their seventh house of partners, and Leos just need to say, yes, ma'am, or yes, sir, because their partners have the upper hand, and when your partner has the upper hand, you have to acquiesce to it. For Virgos, um, it's in their sixth house of work and responsibility. And they're, they're doing fits and starts. They have an inkling of something good to come, but nothing really tangible um, has been put in writing. And that happens at the end of this week as well. For Libras, it's in their fifth house of amusements, pleasure, sports, children, um, children of the mind. I don't think Mer Mercury retrograde there is a bad time. Uh, but they will find out by the end of the week how exactly their love relationships are going. For Scorpios, it's been an awful retrograde for them uh, because Mercury's been in their fourth house of home and there have been all sorts of problems going on at home from repairs, from fixings, to people pitching fits at home. And at least they begin to be able to get a handle on that starting on Friday and bring peace to home once again. For Sagittarius, in the third house of day-to-day -day living, the pace of their day-to-day -day living has picked up to warp speed and it has been all they could do to stay ahead of the power curve or even even with the power curve because the last couple of weeks or so they've been falling behind the power curve and that also comes to an end for them on Friday and then for a Capricorn just been in their second house of money and yeah they're gonna have money oh no they're gonna spend money and yeah they're gonna have money and no they're going to spend money and the thing um, that I hope for is at the end of this retrograde that you have more money than you started out with and then for the last side for Aquarians it's been in their first house of their physical self and their personal relationships they've had some confusion because they're not being very clear on telling the people that they interact with exactly what it is that they want and they, they need because the reason is they don't really know what they want but they figured that out all of this week and by Friday they're ready to let their partners and their other interpersonal relationships know what's going on so that's tomorrow's news today for the 12 signs of the zodiac and I for one will be very happy next week when I come back and Mercury is finally direct so have a great week.